Okay, in a previous tutorial I assembled this fire truck um, and I just want to finish off. I was a bit concerned that this bit here sticks out the back in a way that's a little bit ugly. Um, so I just want to move it forward a bit so that it's um, in a better place. And my problem was I was uh, looking at the fire truck component here. Um, so each of these uh, six things is a component. Um, and I wasn't able to see the sketches that went in to make up the fire truck. Um, those sketches, you can always uh, go uh, to the uh, task list at the bottom of the screen and see in order what you did. And I can see that those sketches exist. Um, but I did them all before I made the fire truck into, an, into a specific component. Um, so they're all here, and that means that they're in the main um assembly list of operations rather than in the component list of operations so if i'd be i mean that's a slight lapse on my part if i'd been smart i'd have started from the beginning by making the fire truck a component um but i didn't do that so we'll work with what we've got and what i need to do is to find the sketch on the roof which might be this one here um, and you can see when I highlight it there, uh, I can also see it in the list of operations at the bottom. I'm just going to try editing that sketch uh, because um, that's exactly the sketch I want. I want to take this uh, um, hole in the roof. I'm going to try moving it forward 10 millimeters and see what that does. Um, so now everything looks a little bit smarter. The um, ladder is uh, over the um, entire. Well, the, nothing sticks out the back beyond that that uh, fillet there. The ladder's in about the right position that I want it in. Um, just a couple more finishing touches that I can do. I don't really anymore want to um, see the um, joints. I actually, I suppose one thing that I can do is try, for example, to do a motion link. Uh, let's have a look at that. And I'm going to link uh, this joint, this joint, and uh, say that's OK. And then I'm also going to say motion link uh, this joint and this joint. The reason I didn't do all four together is I had a feeling this was going to happen, that the um, these ones would go in a reverse direction because their axis points in a different direction. So I'm going to reverse. Uh, no, not. I'm going to leave that as it is. And finally, I'm going to add in another motion link which links this joint and this joint. And I'm going to reverse that one so that everything is rotating in the same direction. Uh, so that's quite nice. And now if I drive the wheels, they all rotate, um, which is what I wanted. Um, under other options that we've got under this assembly menu. Um, an as-built joint means just make a joint out of the, the things in the position they are right now. So in this joint we had to kind of position things and choose what lined up. If we already built it in the right place we can say make an as-built joint um, and uh, that will just immediately become a specified joint. Um, a joint origin, we can choose a point where we might want to align something later on. We'd use joint origin to do that. Um, rigid group uh, means certain things become fixed relative to each other. Uh, we can drive the joints. Um, let's just click on that and see what, what kinds of things come up. If I say drive that joint, um, It's not doing what I thought it was going to do. Oh yes, then I can um, 
choose to vary uh, that joint and if I click OK uh, and nothing has happened um, so probably there's no need to um, that driving the joint didn't seem to do anything that I wanted it to um, I won't worry about that um, and then one thing that we might want to think about later um, is this idea of contact sets what we could do for example is say make a contact set out of the ladder and the truck and that would mean that I wasn't able to do this and move the ladder through the truck um, let's give it a go see how we get on it can slow things down quite a lot um, but if I choose the ladder here and the truck there and right click um, I can make a new contact set from them, from those two components. And now what's going to happen is when I try and move the ladder through the truck, it fails. The ladder can only hit against the truck. Um, and so that can be um, a useful thing to include. So that's there. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do uh, just to complete this truck is to turn off all the visibility on uh, the joints um, which includes the joints within the wheel and axles um, and I'm just doing this really so that uh, everything looks nice and tidy that now looks nice and tidy and I guess a final thing that I could do is to say let's uh, try and render that uh, if the software is gonna let me sort of frozen up a bit um, and I'll just do all of this quickly. I think I'm pretty happy with whatever it suggests for the setup. And let's just try a nice render. Yeah, my computer's a little bit slower than I'd like on this, but um, well, there you go. That's the the kind of finished picture of what this truck looks like, I guess.